In 2023, the movie The Kerala Story stirred a huge controversy in India, relaying a sensational message that further disrupted religious harmony. The movie's producer Vipul Amrut Lal Shah is back again with another film, Bastar the Naxal Story, which is not going down well with students of Jawaharlal Nehru University. This time, a section of the movie, as seen in the trailer, targets students from JNU, stirring up a controversy yet again. In today's Straight to Biotex Live with me, Lovely Majumdar, we'll be looking into the issue in detail. The movie, directed by Sudeep Tosen, stars Ada Sharma, who was also in the lead in the Kerala story. The teaser shows a character played by Ada, who can be seen criticizing students from JNU for allegedly celebrating the killing of the Central Reserve Police Force policemen in the Dantewada Maoist attack in 2010. The teaser also comments on the pseudo intellectuals in big cities saying that they are the country's biggest enemy. Following the release of the teaser, the United Students of India and Alliance of 16 student organizations, including Students Federation of India, SFI, All India Students Association, ISA, Progressive Students Forum, PSF, and others also released a statement on Wednesday, February 7, condemning the upcoming film. The statement calls on the repetitive trope of favouring one side of bipartisan politics. It read, and I quote, Playing on a favourite right-wing trope of the urban Naxal, the teaser of this new movie closes with a statement by the lead character stating she would shoot to death left liberal pseudo-intellectuals and attacks university students, especially from Jawaharlal Nehru University, end quote. The students also called it a fascistic project intended to undermine the rule of law and the tenets of the Constitution of India, as it is directed towards cultivating particular propaganda through the media and cultural industry. The president of JNU Students Union, Oishi Ghosh, took to X and appealed to the alumni and the VC that immediate action be taken against Sudhito Sen, Ada Sharma, Vipul Amrut Lal Shah for misleading people. JNU students also burned the effigy of director Sudhito Sen on February 8th. Several JNU students alleged that the teaser of the film contains hate speech towards JNU and calls for public lynching of students. They further alleged that the movie propagates the hate campaign by the RSS against JNU. Here's what a student has to say about the same. Uh, Sudipto Sen's new movie, Bastard, the next story. It is once again his effort and the entire RSS, BJP and Hindutva missionaries effort to create a villain out of a university and of uh, people as such. Because in the last movie that he had realized, uh, released, that is the Kerala story, you've seen how it was with a complacent communal agenda and was very far from the facts that uh, exist in our society. And similarly, with this movie, uh, Sudipto Sen has come with a genocidal call against JNU students as well as all left democratic forces of the country. It is important that as progressive forces of the country, we expose the communal agenda that is being propagated through such films and tell the RSS and BJP their own history. How they have absolutely zero contribution to the, uh, our, in the our struggle for independence and it is these forces that are trying to uh, break this country at the moment. The movie is slated for theatre release in March 2024. This was all for today. We will see you again tomorrow. Till then, mask up and stay safe.